Hey everybody, welcome back to Gem Mint Collectibles. I'm Gem Mint. We're here with an XM Studios Thor quarter scale bust. We're going to do an unboxing and a review. But before I even get started, I just want to say that this was gifted to the channel by my plug in Singapore. He wanted to uh, congratulate the channel for hitting 10,000 subscribers and, and donate a little something to the uh, to the Geminites crew. I don't collect uh, quarter scale busts, so uh, we're going to be doing a giveaway for this piece. I'm not sure if I'm going to do for like a 15,000k giveaway or maybe 20,000. Kind of depends on how fast we get to the 15. But uh, be on the lookout for that video. If any of you guys want to uh, pre-order any new XM pieces, you got to hit me up. Uh, shoot me an email at gemmintc at gmail.com. We'll get you those things for retail. Uh, from my dude, my connect that came through with this uh, quarter scale bust. Uh, it's easier for me to do the pre-orders for y'all than old pieces that are already sold out or whatever. But you're going to want to pre-order XM pieces because their new business model is made to order. So however many pre-orders they get, that's all they're going to make and that's it. So the Moon Knight statue, for example, is only going to have an addition size of 270 pieces. That's it. So this should really help the aftermarket, but you got to get your pre-orders in if you want like the new XM Scorpion Dr. Octopus, uh, XM Cyclops, Gambit, Omega Red. So, um, y'all hit me up, email me. Make sure you do Gem Mint C. Some jerk took Gem Mint uh, at gmail.com and Gem Mint Collectible. So, Gem Mint C at gmail.com if you want to pre order any new XM pieces. But y'all stay tuned for the unboxing and review. <laughs> All right, y'all. Got my box cutter. Let's get this thing open. All right, so it comes with the product registration info, and it comes with where the pieces sit in the box. You still get a uh, a black box like all the other XM pieces. Got a Molnir on the side, XM Studios logo on the other side. Marvel XM Studios logo on the top, no big deal. Let's crack this thing open. So it does have a little bio on the side. Thor is the Asgardian god of thunder and the son of Odin, all father of Asgard, and Gia, the elder earth goddess. Combining the power of these two worlds, Thor is perhaps the greatest and mightiest defender of both. Armed with his hammer Molnir, Thor is the mightiest warrior of Asgard, a founding member of the Avengers, one of the strongest and most powerful beings on Earth. Anyway, we got the straps. So, here goes the base that has Thor, has his torso, his arms. Right, you got his very Thor looking symbols there. This cape is big and heavy, yo. Nice.
On there is like a little brick. Slow down. There we go. And then you got his little uh, ribbon at the bottom here. All right, y'all, there goes the quarter scale Thor bust. Man, pretty cool piece, man. I got to be honest with you. I know that the quarter scale Venom bust was a pretty uh, nice surprise as well. Not too bad. I mean, quarter scale, it's not too small. It's just like about half of a statue. But it looks like they took the opportunity to really go all out with the cape. And I really like how they did the cape. It does have some nice shading in it. it it's not like the uh, Mysterio cape or... Or the Wilson Fisk blazer. It doesn't look like fondant. It actually um, has a lot of good detail. The sculpt is really good. It does. It has a lot of weight, and it does feel a little back heavy. So you got to be careful because it'll it'll fall over pretty easily. So you got to be careful with this man. I like the base. They have some nice golden touches on the little Asgardian font or text or whatever you want to call that. Looks like his belt buckle is a little bit weathered. Has kind of a T on it or like a, a hammer on it. Got a nice sculpt in the arms. A lot of uh, detail with muscles and veins. Wristbands. Sculpt is really good. So there's one thing I wasn't crazy about with the hair, but now I see that the uh, the wings cover it up. Actually, there was like a pretty ugly seam in the hair, but uh, I guess they knew that they were gonna cover it up with the wings, so it looks good. His hammer looks dope. It has the uh, engraved "Whosoever holds this hammer, be he worthy, shall possess the power of Thor." The power of the law. So that's a dope bust, man. Any Thor fan would love to have it. Quarter scale from XM Studios. You can see the um, sculpt in his uh, costume too. His, his abs and everything. Pain is good. 
flowing hair is always a little bit difficult, you know. Looks all right though. I'm just taking it all in, man. The cape is really the impressive part about this. I got to be honest. The back of it looks really crazy, man. The uh, the feathers and the wings on his helmet look really good, too. Which is what I loved about the Sideshow life-size bust. But the angle of that bust was hard to pose, man. At least with quarter scale, it's not that hard to pose. His teeth look really good, actually. I just noticed that. We'll have a close-up on the picture so you can see the teeth. Painted really well, shiny. The lines are engraved really well. He's got a big... As guardian nose, eyes look good. Doesn't they don't look cross-eyed or anything? So cool, man. Let me know what you guys think about the uh, quarter scale Thor bust. Uh, like I mentioned in the intro, this is going to be a giveaway piece uh, donated by my friend who chose to rename nameless. But uh, appreciate the look. Uh, it's always nice to get something for free, but I like to pass it on to y'all, man. You know, it's not something I collect anyway. But, you know, if it was, I probably would still give it away, man. Uh, so, let me know. How should I do the giveaway, man? Because I haven't even done the 10K giveaway yet. That's going to be this weekend. I'm thinking 15K, but that's kind of quick. 20K might be too far away. Maybe we'll do 15. I'm sure something else will come through by 20 and give away something dope. Plus, this is, um, you know, it's a, it's a bust. It's not a full-scale piece, but it's, still, it's a quarter-scale bust. So, you know, 20K will have to be something a little bit more monumental, you know what I mean? But this is dope, don't get me wrong. I love it. I, I'm, I'm happy I'll be able to display it up in here for a little while until uh, we get to the goal and we uh, draw a winner. I'll announce the giveaway. It'll be its own separate video like I always do, so, you know, don't worry. Just be on the lookout for that. Make sure you drop me that like on the way out. Comment on the video what you thought about the piece, what you think about the giveaway. It's a good prize. What do you think? And make sure to subscribe to the channel for more statue unboxing and reviews. Comic-Con footage. We just did San Diego Comic-Con. I dropped a recent reads today on Batman Nightfall. I did an omnibus haul. Tomorrow um, we're going to film uh, Manimal's weekly pull. So we got a little something for everyone. We're growing fast, man. We're like 11.2K uh, subscribers right now. So I want to thank uh, all of y'all for watching and showing so much support. And y'all stay minty fresh. Peace. Now, before I even get started, uh, this was gifted. Damn.